Lorenzo Gibertine, More Than the Gates of Paradise. The Life of Lorenzo Gibertine. In this presentation, I will explore the life of Lorenzo Gibertine, his family life, his accomplishments, including his best known work, The Gates of Paradise, as well as other works such as the work for Orson Michel and the reliefs for the cathedral in Siena. Life and Family Lorenzo Gilberti was born in 1378 in Palago, Italy, where his mother had married Sion Gilberti in 1370. She went on to Florence, Italy, which was nearby to Palago, and lived there as the common-law wife of a goldsmith named Bartolo di Michele. Gilberti's mother finally married Bartolo in 1406 after Sion had passed away. Gibertai spent his childhood in the home of his mother and Bartolo, but had at some point claimed both Sion and Bartolo as his father at different times in his life. Bartolo was the one who trained Gibertai as a goldsmith. He was also trained as a painter before he left Florence in 1400, with a painter to go work in the town of Pissarro for its ruler, Sigismondo Malatesta. Lorenzo died at the age of 77 on December 1st, 1455, in Florence, Italy. Early Italian Renaissance Sculptor and Artist Lorenzo Ghibertai was one of the great sculptors and artists in the early Italian Renaissance age. He lived among the greatest artists known today, such as Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. But not only did Lorenzo Ghibertai live among them, he was much respected by them as well. The Gates of Paradise Lorenzo Ghibertai's most famous work. As you can see on the left, that's the full set of doors that Lorenzo did with it's made out of bronze and he completely carved every detail to those doors. On the right is a little bit more up close and personal view of one of the panels that's on the doors. Abraham's Sacrifice of Isaac. There was a competition being held in 1401 for the commission to make a pair of bronze doors for the baptistry of the Cathedral of Florence. Gibertai returned home after learning of this and joined the competition. The competitors had to represent the biblical scene of Abraham's sacrifice of Isaac in a bronze relief of quarterfoil shaped following the tradition of the first set of doors produced by Andrea Pisano. Gebertai was able to put his goldsmith skills to use and was chosen to make the doors by a large panel of judges. Of course, this brought immediate and lasting recognition and prominence to Lorenzo Gilberti. Statue of St. John the Baptist. In 1412, the Art de Calamala gave Lorenzo Gilberti another commission. It was to make a larger than life size bronze statue of the patron saint, John the Baptist outside the guild's communal building, Orson Michel. It took Gilbertai four years to complete this work, but quickly after the completion of the St. John the Baptist statue, he was commissioned to do two more similar large bronze statues for the guild. Lorenzo Ghibertai was a very well-known and accomplished sculptor and artist of his time. He is well-known for his work, of course, with the Gates of Paradise, which was named by Michelangelo, and other work along the way. But to me, he is legendary for his drive and motivation to succeed. He entered competitions with courage and he won. While his work is beautiful, his courage is amazing. 